Hey, yo, where Nick at? Back there in the cut. Roy Williams doesn't offer sophomores hardly at all. What does that make you feel like? Uh, it just made me feel like I could be special. And if I keep working, I could maybe go to the league someday. So, how did the season go? Uh, it was a good season. I feel like I evolved as like a player. We involved as a team. We just got better as one, and it was a great season. Did it Did it go to your expectations? Uh, yeah, for sure. Cause I expected like that I would come and like be the leader of the team, and like that's what I did. I feel like I did this, that this year. I'm Denzel Dillingham, uh, Robert's older brother. I mean, in middle school, he was nice. Like, like as soon as he hit middle school, he was already going for like 30 a game. And like, he was already talented when he was a kid. So I knew he was gonna be like special. But like where he's at now, I knew he had a chance to be like one of the best players in his class because like early on like anytime he would play like whether it was like made hoops or like any type of uh, AAU tournaments like he'd always dominate and it looked like he was like head and shoulders better than like his competition like it was easy for him like he's always been like real skilled and it's just like come effortless so like, it's not really surprising that he's one of the best players in his class or considered to be. Um, but like, honestly, I expect him to be where he's at. I actually think he's underrated low key. Like, I know he's getting the attention, but I still feel like, like, they don't even know. Like, he's just scratching the surface, really. I would wake him up before school at like 5.30 and we'd go up to um, like the gym and he'd get up like at least 200 mates. Like that's the difference. Like like he wasn't just shooting 200 in, in the morning, like he was making 200 and it was like all different types of shots. Like, like on, like he became a three level scorer because like, you know what I'm saying? He shot so many different types of shots and um, then after that, he'd have like middle school practice, you know, it wasn't like too hard, but it was just like still playing basketball. And then um, as soon as he got out of school, like we work out again, make the 200 and then it'd be like, like added stuff in there, like ball handling, finishing through contact, like things that definitely have like translated over to high school and like you see in this game today, so. When you do see the ranked players this summer, will you just be kind of like cool or will you be very excited to play them? I mean, I'm going to look at every game as the same game and I'm going to go out there and play the same every time, no matter who I'm playing against. So I just feel like it don't matter if I'm playing a good player or a trash player, I'm still going to play the same.
Day class, fellas. No. Thirty minutes. Nah, I'm just fucking out. Y'all go learn something, bro. Bro, I. What time is it? Like ten. Not forty-five. What Not class 45. are you going to right now? Playing the darts. All right. Tanara, it's you. It's good to see you back. So you guys are both in the same class. Yeah. Will you be playing each other this summer? Hell yeah. I'm gonna lock that up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even listen to me. Oh wow. Huh? Yeah, oh wow. No cap. <laughs> Our arrival will see you after class. What time is it right now? 3.22. So after this we have another workout. You know, like I miss that. Do you come here? Uh, usually like once a week I come to do chiropractic therapy and then get normal check. Yep, yep, yep. Two left. Here we go. Okay. Always move it towards. Move it towards. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Say again. Uh, my name is Deshaun Davis. I'm uh, Rob's Dillingham basketball trainer. My training experience, I've been on the coaches level, uh, college coaches level. Um, I was at the University of South Carolina. Um, and I spent some time with the Hornets. So right now, uh, I just coach and I train. A lot of times at the high school level, you get guys that's gonna be able to rough them up and, and it's gonna get into, his, get into his grill. So you gotta be able to play through contact, finish through contact, as well as you know just handle and, and be poised and play with pace as well. Oh, it's, uh... I mean, if my first two years is not by quick, very quick, it feel crazy that now I'm in my junior, I'm about to enter my junior year. But it's also like, because I'm ready to get to the NBA, so I know like it's just one step closer to my dream.
I want to say like for the most part, like I know he's probably went to other people like here and there, but like consistently just because of like transportation and stuff, I want to say four or five days out the week we work out like going into freshman year i just like put more of an emphasis on the fact that i knew like the level he was going to play at especially like at combine that they were going to have a national schedule he was going to be playing against like high caliber players not really like getting in the weight room but like just playing stronger like he would lift weights here and there but it was just like finishing through contact like i said earlier uh finishing over taller defenders like his float package that was like a big emphasis because you can be kind of weak as a freshman but if you can shoot the ball you can kind of space the floor and it can open up the rest of your offense
Three, but he counted the time took it off. <laughs> Offensive rebound with 20 seconds left, but that's 20 seconds. Bro, I hit a three and turned around. But they didn't blow the whistle. No, but they, that's, 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 that's the point. It was 16 seconds left. They should have put 16 back on. They left the team six and let us play the rest of the game. Tough game. You know your stats? Nah, I don't even care though. We're gonna win tomorrow. Tome, what happened last game? Came up short. How come you don't play with Rob for the game changers? Damn. <laughs> Whoa. You know what I'm saying? Rob never hit me up with my game changers. So will you be playing there in July? CP3 for life. <laughs> you right. Oh, was apple juice over there? So, man, I never heard of you till now.
Peru this summer? For sure. I realized that all of us are like top players where we're from, so they just got to learn how to tell together. So, you know, over, really over the past couple of years, it's, it's been, I'm sure, a whirlwind for you as you're, you went from a six man on your high school team to being the guy on a nationally ranked high school team and now having all this attention surrounding you. How do you kind of just deal with that from a mental standpoint of knowing that every everywhere you go, people are watching you, but you still have to be, you still have to be Robert Dillon? Uh, I mean, I don't look at it no way because I'm Robert Dillon everywhere I go. I feel like I ain't gonna change. And I'm the same person as when I did have attention, so now it's just the same thing. Um. Can you kind of give a background of the city that are you from here? Like you guys are from? Hickory. Um. It's like a small town in North Carolina. It's a whole bunch of small towns, but like we've had great athletes come out of here, like guys like Al Young, Chris Washburn, like professional athletes. Um, we even got new talent coming out, like a guy like Caleb Farley that's about to get drafted to the NFL. Um, but like our players don't get the recognition as like bigger cities, like Charlotte. Um, and like Raleigh Durham area but like it's just like one of those cities in North Carolina that has like so many talented players it's just like lacking the exposure He's like the first player since forever. Like the type of recognition that he's getting, like on the national stage, is just like uncommon. Like especially in basketball. Like we haven't had too many guys come out of here. Like besides Chris Washburn, he played in the league, but like that was like '80s. Since then, it's like we've had good players, like I said, but nobody to like become a possibly like a high major D1 and potentially even after that, like playing on the highest level. Two, right, right. It's more so their work ethic. They understand, they see their grind, they see the work ethic, they understand where they came from. Um, they see the hunger for the game whenever they play. You can tell, you can tell a lot from a player um, when he's on the floor. You can tell what type of player he is. Is he more finesse? Is he just um, a guy that actually just want to just want, just want win? Their will to win, I think, between Dame and uh, Ja, I think those guys actually have a will to win. Um, and their character, they're, they're, they're dogs. You got to stick out like that in order in order to be successful at the next level. And I think a lot of GMs see that in a lot of those guys. During the year we would work out, like they had a crazy schedule anyways. Like they'd work out before classes, during the day, and then at night we would get in the gym if we had uh, time. Going into sophomore year this year, making sure like we was getting in there like in the morning, and then we'd come back later on in the afternoon or at night. So at least two times every day. Every day. Yeah, like I'm telling you, repetition. Like people see Robert get hot, that's normal. Like I really be expecting him to have games where he misses like maybe one or two shots. I feel like he's just scratching the surface. And if you're from Hickory, you know what level he really plays at. The rest of the nation is just catching on for real. Okay. 
got him, Sam. Nah, it'd be times where he got mad, you know what I'm saying? Because he'd be tired. But, like, I just always tell him, like, like, what you're not willing to do, somebody else is going to, like, go that extra distance. Like, even now, like, he is getting national recognition, but, like, he really ain't accomplished anything yet. Like, even when you make it to the league, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just the beginning of the journey. Like, so... Like, it's a kid right now that's, like, thinking, like, Robert Dillingham, like, I can't wait to play him. Like, I'm going to show the world why I'm better than him. And he has to have that mentality. And he has that mentality. You can tell, like, because he feels like, like, rankings don't matter. But if they're going to rank him, he, he feels like he's probably number one. started like close like in the middle of the season like with meal prep and stuff and then did, during the summer I'm just trying to get bigger Drink water, get your massages regularly. Um, start at a young age getting massages. Um, also stretch and take those cold baths. Right. When did you first start recording, Rob? Eighth grade, man. Eighth grade. Was he like that? I mean, <laughs> he, he was he was all right. He was all right. Did, did he, he, was all right, he would be what he is now? No. No. Nah, I can't even lie though. I can't even lie. The way that his dad hyped him up, bro. The way that his family hyped him up and stuff, just like in elementary school and stuff, bro. It was wild. And like, he met he met their standards, like exceeded the expectations. Am I wrong? So far, so good. So shooting. It's gonna be a shooting day. He's been working hard this week. So it's mainly making sure that uh, he's getting his reps up. How often do you guys usually work out? Uh, for Rob, at least four to five times a week. At least. Especially off season. It's off season this year. You gotta make gains. What about two games. days? Um, he have different stuff, so he uh not necessarily two a days on the court, but it's two a days probably in the weight room. Push, pull with your right hand and pass it to me, okay? All right, so dribble with your left hand, dribble. Yep. Next, dribble with your left hand, dribble. dribble. Yep. Good, so push, pull. Push, pull with your right hand and pass it to me. Pass, one, yep, here, air pass, two, air pass. Air pass, two. Hey, yep. Knock, yep. Good, yep, ten, two, one. So it's gonna be the same thing right now. So it's push, pull, make an L, pass, okay? Push, pull, windshield wipers, pass. Good, three, yep, good, good, pop, four, pop, yep, pop, good, got pop, good, pop, six, good, pop, yep, six, good, yep, 
Yep, no, come on, last one. Yep, yep, can't do that. Good. Okay, you want the last one? Yeah, good. Yep, yep. Good job, come on. Ah. Good job, come on. Yep, yep, yep. Good, two, good job, come on. Yep, two, good job, come on. Good, yep, good, 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 good. Come on, get, how do you come on? Come on, good. Good, get out of your comfort zone. Good, yep, 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 good. Four, good, yep, come on, come on, quicker. Quicker, good, yep, yep, come on, good. Hey, good, five. That's the only way you're gonna get better. Good job, baby, go, come on. Get out of your comfort zone, come on, yep, 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 six, good job. Yes, sir, yes, sir. What's your background in basketball? Uh, I played in high school, then I played uh, Division Two at LR. I played two years there, uh, did pretty well. And then I transferred to a HBCU D2 in Augusta, Georgia. And um, like I did well there. My junior year, we won the conference. I got player of the year. And then my senior year, had a better year, but the wins just didn't correlate to that. So, but that was it, like just college, um, played well D2. And then after that, that was pretty much it. Like I worked hard, but it wasn't like until I got to high school, you know what I'm saying, like sophomore year. And like my workouts were just like, oh, uh, just hard, like really just tiring. It wasn't like focus on detail, you know what I mean? And like work on my weaknesses. It wasn't like ball handling. It wasn't like finishing at the rim with both hands. Um, it was just repetition, which like, I preach to him now, but like, there's an attention to detail. Like I was saying, like, you want to be a three level scorer. You want to work on every part of your game to make sure, like when you step on the court during the game, like you're comfortable doing anything. I'm not going to lie, like, the chances of making it the, the NBA are just, like, so slim. But, like, I always tell him, like, when he makes it to the NBA, not if. Because, like, he has to have, like, high, like, aspirations. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're going to set the bar high, you might as well set it as high as possible. And, uh, like, with this game, I know he hears it a lot now from everybody that he's going to make it to the league. But it's, like... I see guys in the league doing things that he does, and it's just like, he can do that. Like, I see so many players in the NBA that I feel like his game is a mixture of. So, I mean, it wouldn't be surprising to me if, like, in a couple years he's there. Don't, I didn't know if you have control right now, okay? Let's hold your follow through. Let's see your control fingers as well. Good. Uh, during the workouts, it seems like he gets uh, mad sometimes. What, what do you think that is for people that don't know? That goes back to what I was saying. Like, like he holds himself to such a high standard. Like, he's seen himself make so many shots. That like when he misses one or two in a row, like he start thinking like, dang, like I gotta get my rhythm back going, cause like, like you see it, like you watch, I guarantee you, you watch Steph in a shooting workout, he take a hundred shots, he making 96, 97, so that's just wanting to be as great as possible, you know what I'm saying? Like wanting greatness out of yourself and and not settling for nothing less.
Finish it. Good. Good. Stay cut. Good. 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 Knock it down. Knock it down. Good. 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 Come on. Come on. Good. 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 Knock it down. Take away that. We play 4.40 on Saturday and 9 o'clock on Saturday. He is about to enter um, the upperclassman year. And he was just like, he was just in ninth grade not too long ago. Right, nah, it's, it's crazy. Like, it's fast. Like, it flies by, but like, I promise you, like, I've been, ha like, it seemed like yesterday I was talking with my cousins or, like, people in my family and just talking about, like, where he could be in a couple years. And it's like, he's following that exact path, but even better, you know what I'm saying? So, like, it it's amazing to watch. Um, it's just like a book, and every chapter just gets better.